I wanted to point out here, this area right here has the ability to change over time. Right now, as many of you know, I am sure, the US presidential campaign with all of the primaries going on is very, very popular in the news and is a topic that is of the interest of many, not necessarily students, but perhaps. And so what LexisNexis has done, and I'll open this in a new tab, is collected a lot of campaign information um, on this really cool landing page here. And there are a lot of really amazing multimedia elements to this page and access points to a lot of really great ways to track what's going on in politics. Let's close out of that and also check out this other dynamic section of the main page, which is the Hot Topics Links area. And everything from hot uh, today's front page news, which I'll show you in a second, to specific key terms, almost in the same way that Twitter or another social, other social media describe hot topics or trending topics, we have such here. And I will say that because this is coming out of not only a platform aggregating information and bringing together lots of different sources into one space, but a highly curated and editor-centric approach to research, we will probably have a lot more um, stable and respectable information here as opposed to using social media or a specifically news aggregating service like Google News. So I clicked on today's front page news and that brought us up with a search result listing. And this is actually an interesting way to go about looking at new news as a lot of us are used to looking at front pages being specific to one publication, here we have a variety of publications with a variety of actual different columns and stories from those various publications displayed. But these are all the newest, the latest. And you can, of course, filter through what has been deemed front page news using a variety of um, algorithmic information on the end of LexisNexis, even though it's providing it here, you can filter it further depending on if you're looking for a specific source, like a specific newspaper or a specific type of subject or um, specific industry, company, profile, etc., etc. But anything that is coming up in the sources that they are providing in access to here at LexisNexis, you will get a lot of really great information here. It is almost most com comparable or comparable to the website Reddit, which is also a front page service. But unlike Reddit, this is using one specific algorithm that is not based on the popularity of its users, but is relevant to the uh, criteria outlined by the engineers and the editors of LexisNexis Academic. So in terms of research and integrity, this again is far more stable than a social oriented platform like Twitter or Reddit. Okay, so we'll close out of there. The bottom part of the main page of LexisNexis is also a really great way to find information. If you're looking for news, you can search the news. Instead of using the big search bar up here, you can use this little search bar. You can choose the source that you're looking for if you're looking for a specific type of source, such as newspapers, magazines, blogs, etc. Or if you know a specific source title, like the New York Times or the Seattle Times, you could enter it in there and then enter your search query and hit go. Next to the search the news is look up a legal case. If you're searching for legal cases, and this might especially apply to those researchers who are working on controversial issues or um, looking into specific debates or major, major issues in society over time, you very well might be interested in looking for case information related to that. 
If you don't have the citation, you can always enter a specific topic. The example they use here is equal opportunity, and then hit go, and that will find a variety of legal cases for you. And then the final mini search on the main screen is for company information. They have really good um, examples here. Microsoft, or if you're looking for a stock ticker, MSFT is the example here. You can experiment. They may or may not have the company you're looking for. If it's a very large company, however, regardless of the co country it's coming from, you most likely will find it. And then, of course, if you're looking for the list or you want to see if your company is on the list, you can click here at the company dossier. I also finally wanted to point out that there are four, or I'm sorry, five areas of tools on the website. I'm not going to go into them in depth, but we have what's new, video tutorials, research guides, download content list, and the Academic Knowledge Center. If you're looking for conducting research and looking for tips, if you're looking for tips on conducting research or how to better use LexisNexis like a pro, or if you simply want to leverage more of the tools that the developers of LexisNexis have created to help students and other researchers, you will most likely be able to find what you're looking for here. And if not, if this intro video or these tools here or your own fantastic mind has not been able to find the information or the functionality within LexisNexis Academic, you can always go up here to the help section or you can email me, uh, the librarian or any of the other librarians by sending a message to library at lwtech.edu. Or you can comment on this video in the YouTube comments below and we will definitely receive a notice and respond to them appropriately. Thank you very much for watching this brief tutorial on LexisNexis Academic and see you soon.